on differential, but another opportunity tonight for the Astros to continue to push the contenders down. Ready to go, underway with a fastball up for ball one. J.P. Crawford. Mariners had their season high tying five game winning streak snapped last night with the Astros victory 11 to 2. This one a long run for Bregman and he makes the play right down the line and left. That was a fair ball so it could have been trouble. A park the Astros won 15 to 1. That ball in the center field a broken bat but it finds its way into shallow center for a base hit and Mitch Hanniger has a one out hit. And a foul tip caught by Maldonado. Odorizzi picks up a strikeout on a riding fastball to end the first inning. One hit, one man left on. Because he is so aggressive and Gilbert normally is in the zone. Altuve four for six with three doubles and he is aggressive on the first pitch and grounds one on two hops to Kyle Seeger. And Gilbert on one pitch has one out here in the bottom of the first. Softly hit shallow center Kelnick coming on and he won't be able to make the play it drops in front of him Michael Bradley a little soft serve base hit into center field Jordan still in the top 10 in the AL in both categories It's this ball well to left center field back goes Kelnick still drifting back near the wall and He leaps and he makes the catch for the final out of the inning Kelnick wasn't sure how far he had to go to hit that wall and made a jump just in case. Jordan gave it a good ride, but he's out number three. The first ever director of baseball operations for Seattle. Swing and a miss. Oda Rizzi. Couple of strikeouts back to back to end the first and to begin the second, getting Toro there. That ball popped in the shallow center field. McCormick in. Correa out. Carlos makes the call and the catch. And he flips it to Chaz for the final out of the inning. Good inning for Jay Coda Rizzi, a 1 2 3 second. The Stetson. And he delivers 97 for a called third strike. Tucker down looking for a strikeout for Gilbert. He has a 1 2 3 second like Oda Rizzi. That's kind of cool. Yeah. He had the curveball working, as Julia said. That ball off the glove of Correa. He just tried to make a swipe at it, but that ball. Was roped and had a lot of top spin. So Tom Murphy has the second hit of the game for the Seattle Mariners, and he's a leadoff base runner. Swing and a miss. Oda Rizzi picks up a strikeout to end the inning. A strikeout every inning for Jake. One hit, one left on. We head to the bottom of the third, scoreless. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider. Back to back strikeouts for Gilbert ending the second and beginning the third. His only two strikeouts of the game. Swing and a miss. That was an awkward looking swing by Martin as he goes down. Two outs in the inning, both on strikeouts. Altuve hooks one deep down the left field line. This ball is good. Home run. Jose Altuve. Watching it at home plate as it just stayed fair. His first home run since July 30th. And the Astros lead one to nothing. Be a lot of fun to watch this guy get hot down the stretch. It's got to feel good getting that home run, getting some of that power back. We saw some doubles in the last couple of games, and right here. He steps on this slider. This is a pitch that struck out the two previous hitters. Altuve locked in on it. Gets it out of the plate, barrels it, and he has been pulling everything. So he had to stay there for a beat to make sure that thing stayed fair. Brantley drills one deep to right field. That ball will be off the wall. Brantley takes a big turn, but he hit it so hard he'll be held to a single. Nice play by Hanniger getting the ball back in quickly. And that start on August 21st. Bregman sends one into right center field. Long run. Hanniger. He won't get there. That's down and all the way to the wall. Michael Brantley on the move. He'll be waved around. There will be a relay throw that is late. Astros take a 2-0 lead on the RBI double by Alex Bregman. That one popped up. Shallow left. Long run for Bowers. Still coming on, but he'll get there for the final out of the inning. Astros with a little two-out magic. 
take a 2 0 lead. Jacob Rizzi only needing 36 pitches to get through three innings, averaging 12 pitches per inning, and he has a seven pitch inning here. Oda Rizzi, effective, efficient, leading two to nothing through three and a half. Ariel goes down on strikes. Four strikeout for Gilbert. And one away here in the fourth. Close pitch, called a strike. Back to back strikeouts here in the fourth, and Gilbert now has five strikeouts there and put up big numbers for over half of a season in and he ropes one to right field Tucker on cue with another line drive that'll be a two out base hit now the counts full on McCormick good at bat here against Gilbert and a close pitch taken for ball four could have gone either way Astros get that call after one that went against Carlos Correa on a pitch that could have gone either way Maldonado pops one up in foul territory. Kyle Seeger near the dugout has room and puts it away for the final out of the inning. A hit, a walk, two men left on base. We are through four. Astros lead two to nothing. Jake said he made a little mechanical adjustment with his hand positioning that helped. There's a ball in the right field on a one two pitch. Luis Torrens with the third hit of the game for the Mariners, all singles. There's a ball roped down the right field line. That'll stay fair and go all the way to the wall. Tucker will play it out of the corner. Being held at third is Torrens. Correa wanted a challenge but doesn't get one. But the Mariners have runners on second and third. Their first two runners in scoring position tonight on the double by Kelnick. Line drive over the head of Correa into center field. That'll tie up the game. Crawford heading to second. The throw by McCormick late to RBI double by J.P. Crawford and we're tied at two. Yep. Wow. That ball line to center McCormick though has a beat on it and puts it away for the final out of the inning. Almost got through a second and third no out situation but a big two out double by J.P. Crawford ties up the game. The Astros can take advantage of that they get warm and can play well for a long amount of time. This ball slicing towards Bowers. Kelnick runs into Bowers, and the ball is down. Michael Brantley is stopping at second. He thought about heading to third. That ball was drifting on Kelnick and was going right to Jake Bowers, but the two outfielders collide, and the ball got down for a double. Michael Brantley, three for three. Huh. Brent Bregman sharply hit past Seeger. Michael Brantley will get the third. Alex Bregman will reach. Fly ball right field. Hanniger comes in. He'll make the play for the final out. So an error, an infield hit, and the Astros strand two. We head to the sixth inning. All tied at two. With nobody else warming up. That ball hit well deep to right field. Tucker will watch this one go. And just like that, the Mariners have their first lead of the game. Kyle Seeger hits his 34th home run of the year, adding to his career best total, his seventh this year against the Astros. And it's three to two. Yeah, Seeger hasn't gotten many hits and doesn't have a high batting average, but when he has made contact, they have gone a long way, setting career highs in that home run department. Doing it right here on a Fastball around 97 miles an hour. Now Garcia will face top. Sharply hit backhanded nicely by Altuve and his throw will bounce and Yuli Gurriel makes the pick for the final out of the inning. Hit sharply but. Out number three, a solo home run by Seeger, giving the Mariners a one-run lead. Correa on an 0-2 pitch, sends one into right field. That'll be down for a base hit. Carlos Correa reaching out, getting on base as a leadoff base runner here in a 3-2 game. That ball hit well the other way. Correa will get to second base. A couple of opposite field hits for the Astros, starting off the bottom of the sixth inning. They have two on with nobody out. 
Maldonado goes down on strikes. That's the second out. Sadler picks up his first strikeout. Softly hit towards the middle. Taro is going to have to make the play, and he does to get Altuve for the final out of the inning. So two hits to lead off the inning. Two men left on base. We head to the seventh. It's a 3-2 game. As he gets a swing and a miss, Kelnick goes down on the curveball. Kelnick strike out, strikes out to start the seventh. Four pitch walk to the number eight hitter Tom Murphy. A strikeout followed by a walk, one out here in the seventh. Gets some bad news before the game, though, in terms of an injury update. This ball on the ground, it'll be Altuve to Correa for one. His throw in time for the double play. Nice job by Carlos Correa finishing off the double play to end the inning. Eighth and Castillo in the ninth. That's the plan here for Scott Service. Brantley sends one deep to right field. Back Haniger, and he'll be off the wall. Michael Brantley has a three hit night. He's been on base four times. A leadoff double here in the seventh. Up the middle, Toro to his right makes the play, and that'll do it for the Astros. A leadoff double by Brantley, but they don't score in the seventh. We're going to head to the eighth with the Mariners leading three to two. Got him. He did. Back to back. A little smile from Kyle Seeger out to his former teammate as he got him on strikes after being down to the count three and one. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Astros down by a run. Called third strike. Fastball on the outside edge. Castillo strikes out Correa to start the inning. There's a ball hooked into left field. That'll be down for a hit. Trying to barehand it is Bowers, and he keeps it in front of him. As led Miss Diaz with a pinch single to left. Got him on the inside corner with a slider that broke over. A pitch that just got a piece of the inside corner for a called third strike. Astros stranding their 10th runner of the night, sixth in scoring position. They're down three to two. Shut out eight. Trying to hold up, but France goes around. Presley wins the rematch against Ty France with a strikeout here to start the ninth. Toro drills one deep to right field. Back goes Tucker, and that'll be bouncing off the wall. Myers plays it quickly. His throw into second base. A double for Abraham Toro. Base hit up the middle, charging is Myers, being raved around is Toro. Here comes the throw home. It will be not in time. It gets past Presley, and that will allow Torrens to advance to second base. RBI single by Torrens makes it a two-run game. It's now 4-2. to two. On the ground, Correa to his left has the ball, and Murphy is retired for the final out of the inning. Astros with a little work to do. They will have the top of the order due up. Up and in, that'll be ball four. Astros have the tying run heading to home plate and Michael Brantley as Altuve draws the walk. Fly ball, deep left field. We are tied up. A breggy bomb makes it Breggy feeling good. Three hundred and eighty four foot shot for Alex Bregman. Welcome back. Alex Bregman hitting a huge home run. His first home run since coming back from the injured list. Jordan goes down swinging. Seawald comes back with a strikeout for out number two. Oh, and now Breggy. Muriel tried to hold up. He goes around, and we're going to head to extra innings. Astros tie it up with a two-run Breggy bomb. It's 4-4. Ryan Stanek will be on in the 10th for the Astros. Turner's the best in baseball in extras. 
This ball in the right field, barely well hit. Tucker all the way back to the wall, leaps up and he makes the catch against the wall. Holding it second is Murphy. He thought that ball would be off the wall and he was going to try to score. That is a nice play by Kyle Tucker in right field. In the center field, playable. Jake Myers is there. That's a shutdown inning in the top half of the 10th. A chance for the Astros for a come from behind walk off. Bill, if there's something out of the plate that he can just go the other way with, he will. There's a ball into right field. Hit well. That'll be over the head of Hanniger. It'll bounce into the crowd, and that'll be a game winner. Astros win it 5 to 4. The walk off double by Correa. Just what he does, TK. Gets big hits. That is a big one coming back against the Seattle Mariners. That bullpen has been so good in winning these tight ball games. But Carlos Correa gets that knock in a key moment again for the Houston Astros. The current Astros roster was 0 for 24 against Johan Ramirez in their lifetime. No time like the present. Carlos Correa who comes up with so many big swings if that ball doesn't bounce into the crowd There's a question because Tucker had to hold up Yeah, Yuli out there at second I base. Mean, Yuli had to hold up As he went over the head he was going back to tag up in case Hanniger caught that if it would ricochet off the wall and Hanniger plays it on a hop He might have been able to stop Yuli at third base. You can see Yuli hold his ground get back to second but as soon as it went into the stands, that's when we heard TK let it loose because the Astros had won it with that guaranteed two bases. What a huge win for the Astros. Down 4-2 to the bottom of the ninth. Alex Bregman ties it, and Carlos Correa wins it. Here's Julia.